Well, South Division is really going to be a, a really competitive division. You got teams Arizona, Arizona State, USC, who really can't really can't benefit off the talent that they have because of the the, the sanctions that were brought on by the NCAA, where they can't compete a lot in the off, in the preseason. Well, let's start off with Arizona. Nick Foles to me can be is going to have a special year. I think Nick Foles will be in New York this year for the Heisman. He has all the tools: big, strong arm, very accurate for for having a, a strong arm. Uh, they have questions at the running back position. Can uh, Keola uh, Antolo can he can he carry the load at running back last year that that guys like Brisby that Bris Grigsby did last year? I want to see. I want to know, but I really think Nick Foles will be fine because they're they're more of an air raid spread out attack. Very good at receiver position. You got uh, a stud in and during carrier. Uh, you got Douglas, and you got one guy that you need to keep an eye on. Transfer from uh, University of Texas, Dan Buckner. Dan Buckner, 6'4", 220, another big time target for for Nick Foles to just throw deep to. Strong, fast, a guy who's going to win a lot of jump balls. I really like him. The one thing, the question on their offensive line, they have to replace five starters from last year's offensive line, which is really going to be hard for them to do. So I think that's the, that's the thing that really is going to hold them back on the offensive side of, of really probably hurting them in the long run. Where do they find a pass rush from? They lost guys. They lost their three top pass rushers from last year, led by Brooks Reed, number uh, second round pick uh, to, the to the Texans. I want to see what they do with their... Linebackers, they're solid uh, with uh, with Paul Velasco. They're very solid over there, and I they I like their secondary. They're very they're young, except for at a corner Tevin Wade. I think Tevin Wade can finally step up this year, and, and just become that 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 corner that shutdown corner for that team that they've been hoping that he comes. Because I, I really think he's a really good corner for them, and I think he'd become a shutdown guy. This is his last year to prove something to the country, prove his NFL stock, and I think Tevin I think Tevin Wade will do that this year. Arizona State, Arizona State. Brock Weisenlauer, the big, the big six eight quarterback, former basketball player, was a guy who really caught on fire last year, and now Coach Eckerson thinks that this guy can help this team move forward and compete and, pro and possibly win the South Division and possibly even win the Pac-10 and playing in a Rose Bowl. Very talented at at the running back position with Cameron Marshall and and uh, Deion. DeAndre Lewis, very talented. I love those two guys. They're a very good one-two punch in that system. Very strong at the offensive line. They return all five starters, unlike Arizona, where Arizona doesn't return all of them. Doesn't return none of their starters. They're playing. They return all five of their starters. It's very good for, for Brock. So he's going to have time. Very solid offensive line. They have questions at the D tackle position. They lost a couple guys last year. They lost um, Lawrence Guy, who was a very, very went to the NFL draft, got drafted. Very good. Guy, the defensive tackle positions. They have the best, the cut, the I think, one of the best linebackers in the whole entire country. And, and Vontaze Ben uh, Burfor, Borfic, very good, very good, hard hitter, uh, fast guys. One of those guys who, who who will intimidate you by the way he plays football. He loves the game, plays it very recklessly, but controlled. A leader, he can lead that linebacking core, lead that defense. But he's one of those guys who you're gonna you're gonna realize if he comes out in this year's draft as a junior, he's gonna be one of those guys you're gonna hear in that first round range, just because he's very good, a very good uh, running back, uh, linebacker. Excuse me. They have really questions at the at the secondary position. I think this is the one thing that's really gonna hurt them. They lost Omar Bolden, their best corner, uh, their best defensive player. That's not perfect. They lost him. They thought he was gonna be a special guy. They lost him torn ACL. So they're hopefully they could probably get him back, but they think that's doubtful for this season. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough how Arizona when Arizona when they play Arizona and, and Nick Foles is going around throwing the, the football around, who's gonna step up at that in the secondary and help out? Uh, going to USC, everybody knows about USC. They have all the talent in the world. Uh, second year under Lane Kiffin, Matt Barkley, he's a guy you're gonna probably see in New York as well. Uh, first round talent uh, he's penciled in as a number if, if it wasn't for Andrew Luck this year Matt Barkley would probably be the number one quarterback coming out this year a junior guy who's got all the intangibles he's got all he, he, he's basically your proto prototypical quarterback NFL quarterback a guy that you always want smart strong arm very accurate I want to see how if how he can improve they're very they're very skilled at at running back 
got guys like Curtis McNeil. You got you have Dellen Baxter, who they trying to get make as the next Reggie Bush. You got Mark Taylor. You you just, you just have just oodles and oodles of talent over there that you have over there. Wide receiver, they're stocked. They have guys like Robert Woods, who's going to be a, a, a flat out star. Uh, you got you got uh, Kyle Prater, who's going to be a star, uh, in my opinion. Uh, you have Bryce Butler, George Farmar. You just have guys that are just gonna, they they they're just talented at those two positions at the wide receiver and the running back positions uh they really have questions at the offensive line but they're led by probably the number one tackle coming out this year uh and matt khalid his brother who plays for the who, who's a center for the carolina panthers right now other than, uh, other than that guy they lost tyron lewis who's a first round pick for the cowboys tyron smith i mean first round pick i want to see how that offensive line gels together uh, defense really really was disappointing last year. Monty Kiffin, one of the great defensive minds, probably the greatest defensive coordinator out that's probably ever coordinated or, or ever touched the football field. Def that uh, that team really struggled. Uh, they, like I said, they're talented over there. Uh, their line is fine. Devin Kennard, you got guys like that. You got guys like um, just uh, Tupo. At the, at the tackle spot, Nick Perry at another end. They just have oodles and talent, oodles and oodles of talent again. They got guys, five star guys at tackles that are coming in. They they just really good at that. They really question mark is really at um at linebacker. I want to know what's that those three linebackers going to look like. Are they going to have the freshmen there, the young guys there? They're very small, a stature, but they're fast. They're moving around the football. They're kind of like an SEC linebacker core, led by Chris Gallopo. Let's see what they do there. That secondary needs to improve. Uh, you got guys like McDaniel's, uh, Mc, uh, Mc, McDonald out there. You got Starling out there playing at the safety positions. Corner position. You got Roby. You got young guys at the corner position. If they can improve at that corner position and the secondary, there'll be another really solid team. Going on to UCLA. UCLA. They they have their quarterback uh, Kevin Prince. They need him to become more consistent. They're running that pistol look still. Uh, He's probably not the right guy for the system. They have their they be, they believe they have their guy in um in Hudley from Arizona, but he'll probably he's probably not ready right now to be to to really run this offense as a as a thrower wise. He's more of a runner. They want to improve his passing ability, but they have very good depth at the running back position. Uh, you got guys like Jonathan Franklin, Malcolm Jones, Jordan James. You have those guys like that. Those, those guys that redshirted last year or played little last year. Jonathan Franklin. One of those wide receivers that running running backs that really came on the scene last year. They have a lot of weapons also at the wide receiver position. You got uh, Nelson Rosario. You got Josh Smith. You got Shaquille Evans. You just got those type of guys. Very solid offensive line. Uh, they need to find depth though. Yeah, I think I believe in the, at the defensive line on defensive side of the football. They have Cassius Marsh there. They have the kid from Portland that they got last year who they trying to who hope they are going to be a stud. But they need to really find some depth on that side. Linebackers led by Patrick Lattimore. I think they're really solid at that position. And they're very good with uh, Shelton Price at, at the cornerback position. But I, they're really deep at safety. I think Dietrich Riley is going to be one of those guys that, who's, who's going to be all Pac-12 conference guys. All-American. Probably potentially have All-American. I think he's that good at coverage, covering ability and also at tackling. Uh, moving on, got Colorado, the the two newest additions to the Pac-12 conference. One in uh, Colorado, uh, Dan Hawkins got fired. They brought in Emery, Colorado guy. How did Taylor Hansen has to improve at that quarterback position? He's the only guy they got there. They don't have really a lot of talent or depth back at that at that position. Ronnie Stewart is a guy who's a t really talented running back. He's going to have to carry the load for for that team, even though they do have some good go-to weapons. Like Tony Clemens, former Michigan guy, Michigan transfer, and Paul Richardson. They returned four starters from the offensive line. That offensive line was up and down last year, but they lost their first round guy, Nate Soldier. I want to see how that things how that works out for their line. And they, but they also really need to improve that defensive talent. They gotta get better defensively. They lost Jimmy Smith. They lost uh Ch Chappelle. They they lost those guys at to the draft. So they gotta replenish that, and they gotta they gotta get better at the at the the secondary mainly, but also at the linebackers and the defensive line.
moving on to Utah, I think Utah is one of those teams who could probably actually challenge and win this con the win this division. Uh, coming in from Mountain West Conference, Utah got got new offensive coordinator. How does Jordan win? Really handle Norman Chow's offenses, West Coast style. I really think he he get, he's actually a good fit for that. Norman Chow's really good. He's known as quarterback guru. Has put so many quarterbacks into the league. Matt Liner put Carson Palmer into the league. Just put just keeps putting these USC guys into the league when they was at their heyday running that offense. That was really talented. Uh, Harvey Lungai. I want to see. I think he can step up at that running back. He's a true freshman, but I think he's the guy that they want at the running back position. Very solid. At the center and the two tackle spots on, on, on the offensive line. Very strong defensive line. I think they have one of the best defensive lines in the country. Very underrated there. They return all three of their linebackers. They also have defensive depth behind there. And they're also also very underrated at the secondary position. Utah is going to be one of those teams, I think, that can really surprise and actually probably win this, comp, win this division. Uh, uh, going back to that, I think it's going to go down between the two Arizona schools. I... I want to pick out. I want to pick Arizona State, but that secondary is really going to be bothering me. I'm gonna go with Arizona. I think Nick Foles can get it done this year, and I think Arizona can probably potentially is going to be that team. I think I'll pick them to win the Rose Bowl, to get to the Rose Bowl, excuse me, and, and potentially win it because of Nick Foles and just the talent that they have offensively, as well as the the as well as the question marks they have at defense. But I think that they have young, talented guys enough to help to help out later on during the season. Let me know what you guys think about these about this. Leave your comments.